summer holiday headed up to Prince George to visit my sister and her family which is ten and a half hours from our house and we are just entering the Columbia ice fields had to stop and buy a day pass to go through because you can't go through here without one and now you're gonna see some beautiful footage because this is just an absolutely gorgeous place and hopefully it's not too busy because it's the long weekend and the traffic along here can get really bad and it's only a two-lane road
just a little bit, but there's the big, big buses. They have massive tires on them. That little yellow bus up there are the ones that they used to use to take you up the hill, and I'm not seeing any of the new ones. Right up ahead of us, it's a big glass bridge. It's a skywalk that you can walk on. There's lots of people lined up on it. And you can look far down. I think it's glass bottom, so you can actually just look right through where you're standing. I believe it costs money, doesn't well, it? Well, a lot. A lot of money. Wow. So the valley kind of drops down right there, so the view might be pretty good. I should get a drone and then I can see it anyway. <laughs> Sky bridge. There it is. There it is. People looking over the edge. Another tourist attraction. And I believe they limit your time on it. Another waterfall right up in there. I don't know if I can capture it or not. There was a whole bunch of mist just spraying off. It kind of looked like maybe a chunk of glacier fell off, but I don't know for sure. You know the drive is long when seeing how long you can drive without using the windshield wipers becomes your source of entertainment. If we could drive faster, I'm sure that all these little beads would just come right off, but the guy ahead of us keeps going slow and fast and slow and fast. You can see the rain all up the hillside, but there's sunshine ahead. We are stopping off at Athabasca Falls. I don't know if Clancy has been here or not. Maybe he was when he was younger, but these falls are absolutely incredible. It's a great place to stop and get some wiggles out. It is really busy here, just like everywhere else in the park. It's just one of those places. But we're gonna go and you guys get to check out the falls with us. There's a viewing platform down there, but it's too hard to get to. There's a massive puddle in the way from all the rain. So we'll go this way and show you guys the falls from a better angle anyway. There's the bottom side of the falls. So much water going down there. if you stand really close we were saying that it would be interesting to know the gallon that goes over the gallon amount that goes over the falls I, no, it's liters it's not gallons liters. there's no gallons to go <laughs> this is 93a and it's a back road into jasper rather than going on the main highway so far it's just a bunch of climbing there's a gondola going up all the way there's up to the very top of the mountain so we're over halfway, well over halfway. We made it through Jasper. We had to stop and fuel up. There's people everywhere. I didn't bother recording any of that. And we are out the other side of Jasper heading off to Prince George. And it's pretty much all the same from here on out. Now there is a stretch of road from a place called McBride all the way into Prince George that seriously I feel is the worst piece of road in existence. But I haven't driven every road. Um, so it probably isn't, but it's the worst one that I've ever been on. From here all the way for the next three and a half hours, this is about what the road looks like. 
this straight stretch actually has a corner, but there's some just really, really long straight stretches coming up. to the ocean so be sure to stay tuned